big news out of U.S. soccer because Emma Hayes has dropped her 26-player roster ahead of the friendlies in October. There are three friendlies during this window, two matches against Iceland and then one against Argentina. And the roster features some familiar names, 18 players from the Olympic roster, six uncapped players, three of them being named to their first U.S. women's national team roster. Goalkeepers include Jane Campbell, Casey Murphy, and Alyssa Nair. Out of the defenders group, Emily Fox, Ava Gatino, Naomi Gurma, K- Gurma, Casey Kruger, Haley Mace, Alyssa Melanson, Jenna Nightswanger, Emily Sams, and Emily Sonnet. Out of the midfield group, there is Corbin Albert, Sam Coffey, Hal Hirschfeld, Lindsey Horan, Rose Lavelle, Olivia Moultrie, and Ashley Sanchez. And then the forwards for the U.S. women's national team, Yasmeen Ryan, Emma Sears, Jaden Shaw, Sophia Smith, Mallory Swanson, Lynn Williams, and Alyssa Thompson. There are four players that were in Paris at the Olympics that are not on this roster. That includes Trinity Rodman, Croy Bethune, Crystal Dunn, and Tierna Davidson out due to injuries and some personal reasons. But of this group, I need to know from both of you, initial reactions, Aaron, when this roster drop, what's the one name that really stood out to you? Yasmin Ryan, number nice. one. Um, I'm very, very happy to have called that one, I feel like, last week. Um, but I, I think for all the work she's done in a Gotham shirt, I, I think she's earned her spot. I really like the, the makeup of these call-ups, some of the younger call-ups, some of the uh, quote-unquote in, in sports middle-aged players <laughs> at 25 <laughs> years old, 27 years old with You're a couple get of these. Yeah, I know, one. I know. But when, we, when it comes to sports, they're not young anymore. But it, it, I like to see that players can earn their way into this national team when you're not a 21, 22 mm-hmm, year old. Yeah. You can still play your way in. Um, there is no expiration date on quality and I really, really like what we've seen in these call-ups. 100%, yeah. I love that shout for Yasmin and Ryan. I, when we did our predictions last week, I don't think you were on the show, I said Yaz going in as a defender because mm-hmm. I think she can play that wing back position and get uh, into the attacking third really easily and she's just quality. She's having a great year. For me, uh, it's Haley Mace. Yeah, love this shout. Yeah, I love the shout. One I of think those she... middle-aged players. <laughs> she's 27. That's a whole roster. Uh, no, I think she's really deserved it. This is a very consistent player in the end of USL. And you guys, I don't think you understand how strong Haley Mace is. She is a unit to go up against. She can take shots from distance. She's a great crosser. I think she can play all across the back line and in the attack if you need her. She has that versatility factor. Um, this is a really big player for me and shout out. I think she's really deserved it and she's grown a lot since being at Kansas City. One more, I think Emma Sears. Mm -hmm. I love this. Um, For me, she's one of those players that, you know when Alyssa Thompson first went into the national team and she was always going 100 miles per hour all the time, like almost a little uncontrolled, uh, no control of her body. I think Emma Sears is at that phase a little bit where She's so physical and so fast, but it's like she just needs to refine it. And I think Mm -hmm. getting called into a camp with Emma Hayes and around these really talented players, it's going to elevate her game even more. Once she can control all that power for Mm -hmm. Sears, she's going to be really lethal. I mean, she's already proved herself as a rookie this year in the NWSL. There are another handful of names that are included in this notable call-up list. Alyssa Mallinson out of Bay FC, a defender. Yasmin Ryan and Emma Sears all earning their first call-ups. But Olivia Moultrie, midfielder out of Portland Thorn, she returns to this roster for the first time since the spring. Ashley Sanchez, she hasn't been called in in about a year. She's back on the list. Ava Gatano, she's also back here. Haley Mace, as you mentioned, she hasn't been with the U.S. since November of 20. 2022 and Alyssa Thompson, her first call up since December of 2023. Um, when we made our case for different players to come in, Ashley Sanchez and Alyssa Thompson were both two players that I wanted to see get called in again. They're mm-hmm. young. They've learned a lot in their time. And Emma Hayes spoke with media following this roster announcement and talked about how no player is out of contention. And she also wanted to see a lot more players in this camp. And this specific camp for the U.S. women's national team is actually very different than camps we're used to seeing. First of all, there are three friendlies in this time frame as opposed to the typical two. And there's also 26 players on this roster. Darian, when you think about those two factors, how important is it for Emma Hayes to really get a sense of how all 26 players play? 
Well, I like how she did the roster with these really young players that don't have that much experience at the national team level. And then you have some really hyper-experienced players that these younger players can learn from. And then these players, old players, as Aaron West put it, <laughs> uh, have some kind of freshness to go up against at camp to learn some nuances to add to their game. These players that have never gotten the chance to play together, I really like it. And I also love that Emma Hayes is just shaking everything up with U.S. soccer mm -hmm. because for so long U.S. soccer has been – we know the roster. We know exactly who's getting called in. It's not going to change even if you're not playing well at the club level. These group of players are going to get called in. She's now saying, no, if you're doing well and maybe you're not starting every game, but you're effective and I can see the potential and growth in your game week after week throughout the season, you're going to get an opportunity to come in and let's see how you do. And I love that. And as a former player, if I were one of those younger players like an Emma Sears, I would just be so excited that there is that opportunity. There, it, there are those looks for you to be able to get to that level without needing to play every and start every single game of the year. This is a victory tour for the U.S. women's national team because it's the first three games since they won gold in Paris. However, when we think back to this summer at the Olympics, there were three players that were constant starters for Emma Hayes in France. Trinity Rodman, um, Tierna Davidson in the back line, and also um, Crystal Dunn. These are big absences now that are not on this roster with these three friendlies, Aaron, who needs to step up in place of those three roles. Yeah, I think when, when you look at a Crystal Dunn, she had kind of locked down that left back position. She has been the de facto left back for a long time. I think Jenna Nicewanger has been brought in and, and long term, they maybe look at her as that, that player. I, I think that Emily Fox and, and Haley mm -hmm. Mace will both have a shot at it. I think there's a rotating number of players that are going to get their opportunity to, to, to be there. Um, I, I think Alyssa Mallinson is going to have her mm -hmm. shot to, to lock down an opportunity to play there. Um, I, I think up front, Alyssa Thompson will, will get a chance to, uh, really to, to to play her way back into this. I think Yasmeen Ryan, especially uh, the skill set that she brings is very complimentary to, to very high level players, I think, because yeah. she's such an intelligent player. So I think once she gets into there, it might be hard to dislodge her because she's that type of player. I think there's a number of, uh, especially in the new call-ups, a, a number of these players will feel emboldened by the player pool widening yeah. and will feel confident that they can play themselves into a spot because I think Emma Hayes is the type of manager that if you're playing well, you're going to play. It doesn't matter what your name is. Yep. There are a lot of names on this roster, but who's missing, Darian? I actually really wanted to see Abby D get a call up again. Mm. Shout out to Abby Dahlkemper. I think she's had a really good year since she, she did have a good year at San Diego, but I think since she went to Bay, we're seeing her back to the very confident, very savvy on the ball, brilliant going forward. She's scoring goals. That's a player I really wanted to see get called into a camp. And maybe she will in January or something like that. One of those players, as Emma Hayes said in her presser, that they're not excluding older players, but it would be just kind of this one time that they are bringing these players in to get some minutes and looks. But that's a name I really would have liked to see, especially with Davidson not being called in. Yeah. No Lily Johannes either. No Lily Johannes. Uh, Emma did address that in the pre the post, the press conference talking about the call ups, and she said she's not going to pressure her. She's she's in, she's playing in the Netherlands right now. She's comfortable. She's getting minutes, but she's she that decision is on her, and she's going to take her time. I would also like to see maybe an Ali Sintner. I yeah. know in the future yeah. probably she will be brought mm -hmm. in, but I think her play this season has earned a full national team call up. But um, I, I do believe she has a place in this team in the future. Ali Setnor forward with the Utah Royals. She did just play in the U-20 yeah. Women's World Cup as well as defender at Angel City, Giselle Thompson. Emma Hayes addressed the U-20 saying, we didn't want to call them in. Yeah. They've been away from their club teams for a while. We'll just let them get settled back with club. It's an important time of the year. But it'll be exciting to see the U.S. They take on their first friendly against Iceland. That match coming up Thursday, October 24th.